Hello everybody! In this video we're going to take a look at Fresh Tomato on our Linksys E1200. Now we've already managed to install OpenWRT and DDWRT. Now it's time for Tomato. I've already tried installing Fresh Tomato from the Linksys firmware and this is what happened. Let's go! <laughs> Upgrade failed. Great. So instead, what I'm going to do is try and install Fresh Tomato from the DDWRT mini build that's already installed on the router. Here's how to do it. I'm looking at the Linksys info forum for the Fresh Tomato MIPS. So I've just clicked this link over here and that opens this new tab. And if you browse, you can find all the different ver firmware versions. So I have found Fresh Tomato version 1. This is the mini.zip. So let's just download that. Yes, we want to save it. In our downloads folder, we will need to extract that. Should be a bin file in there. There it is. Let's open a new tab. I've just plugged the router in. There's the DDWRT firmware. Over to the administration at the top. It's asking for the password which I set. Firmware upgrade. We'll leave that on don't reset because it's a different firmware. Click browse. Inside of this folder, here is our mini bin file. It is 3.7 meg, so it should fit. Hit upgrade and give it a fast forward. And the connection has timed out. Let's just bring a command window up. Nothing there. So I've waited a few minutes. I'm just powering the router back on now. It's just through its boot phase. Let's see if we've got the Fresh Tomato firmware or it's still stuck on DDWRT. Right, something's just coming back to me. I used Tomato many, many years ago and I was going to say that DHCP didn't used to be enabled but it looks like it's enabled now so we've got an IP address so let's see if we can jump on <laughs> DDWRT, great okay so I've just done a 30-30 reset I've got an IP address and I can ping it the 401 auth unauthorized does remind me of what Tomato used to say. So let's see if we can get on it. It may need to be unplugged again. Ah, the site says Fresh Tomato. There we go. Now I just need to remember what the default username and password is. It is admin and admin. And that is how you install Fresh Tomato on your Linksys E1200. Use DDWRT Mini first. Thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.